What's up, Rangers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve, and today I'll be going over the Playmates Toho series Godzilla 1954. Bitch, my name is Get out of here. Suit. No, get out of here. I'm here. No, this is my video. Okay. No! Oh. Yeah. Sir, so you're going to damage my high end collectible here. I'm going to be very upset. This Playmates high end collectible? Yes, because this is a 12 inch figure. You, you know the last one we got? Mm mm. What was the last one we got? Final Wars? Final Wars for Toho series? Yeah, I think yeah. it was. Technically, we had some other ones, but Final Wars, I say it was the other one. And this one kind of came as a surprise because I just kind of seen yeah. some people actually were like, hey, this is popping up at Target. And then lo and behold, it popped up at Target. Which is kind of weird because only these guys are popping in Target only. Uh, a lot of them are because it used to be like Walmart. And now yeah, I see a lot more of the stuff at Target. But, so if you're looking for one, start looking at your local targets, not Walmart. Yeah, uh, specifically for the Playmate, like the Playmates ones here. Godzilla 1954, awakened from the depths by mankind's mankind's ignorance and quest for power, a towering monster terrorizes Japan in this 1954 classic film that left Toho in ruins and the world left trembling whenever its name is spoken. Godzilla. Oh, it's even got more up here too. First appearance in 1954, Godzilla and its cast of monstrous co-stars have appeared in theaters and home screens ever since. Blah, 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 blah. So you can move jump on the bottoms. Also, it tells you how to attach the tail. Anyways, main reason to pick this up is just giant 1954. Thought it was pretty cool. Then it's Playmates, so it's kind of obligated. You, you can be honest, Steve. This will this will get us views. Just <laughs> that too. <laughs> but at least it's cool. We should be doing a full review, but we're still in the. I, my mom is getting better, so I don't have to spend as much time over there every day. Which means I'll have more time to edit. Plus, at least until baby gets here. So Yeah, true that. Hopefully with the next coming, like the Monster Arts Rodan. We'll definitely get like a full review. And I still have like an Avan like two Evangelions we gotta do the reviews of. Which ones? Well, we have that 13 that we edited, we did the video like right before my mom got sick. Oh, yeah. So I actually have it edited, but I haven't done all the extra work. Like the skit, the photos. Pictures. Pictures for it. Uh, that might be a Tuesday thing, actually. Oh, now that I've fixed my computer, Steve, you know, it only takes about five minutes to uh, extract a uh, 12-minute video. Oh, that's pretty sweet. It takes me about 40 minutes. That's great. Around there. Oh, this thing's hefty. So now I'll be able to actually live stream, too. But I think since I fixed it, I'm going to start extracting those uh, old uh, from Super Channel videos. Oh, I probably could. Like I said, or even I'm more game just to do just to re review them and see how they hold up next to like current stuff. Wait, wait, why am I texting you, Aaron? You can just I can tell you. Yeah, that's the new Playmates 12-inch one. Oh, you streaming it over there? Yeah. I always like to stream these sometimes when we're actually trying to film it. Steve's trying to be serious. And I'm um, the thing. Yeah, it's the, the general case of our friendship. Anyways, so he's got this hole in his butt. You take this plug. That was actually really easy. Oh, yeah, that was actually a lot easier. <laughs> I was expecting uh, maybe you're going to need some heat or something. Oh, I do not like that connecting piece, though. Oh. Like right there. That is big. That's a giant lump. Wow, it uh, looks like the tail was not meant for this body. Look at that. Or it's too way th off. Yeah, that's weird. Because even the spines, you'll see it gets kind of big. Like, this doesn't... I don't does think not that, line up. I don't think that tail belongs to that. I also tail. like that the spikes just stop. <laughs> like you see, hold up. Like, you see, I actually grabbed old Bandai vinyl. Where spikes go all the way down the tail. The Playmates just kind of gives up. It's just a floopy little folding skin section here at the end. Which is kind of odd because, like, the plates actually, for a Playmates, aren't that bad. Like, they even have the right shape. I, I, I agree with Aaron. It, it's terrible. Take it back. But it was only tw 22? Oh, my God. They went up in price. I think. Uh, a little bit. Uh, well, they were, like, 20 for the big ones. Now it's 20. Like, two bucks. Yeah, that is true. It's In terms of price hikes, it's not that bad. It's not like, hey, 
Let's make aliens smaller. <laughs> it costs more. <laughs> it, co it costs even, but then twice the price. Yeah, there's no tail spikes on it at all. Like, it just ends right at the butt section of it. Yeah, that that I'm definitely I'm not a fan of. Granted, I don't know. I, I didn't even notice it until like just now. So I guess maybe it's not that big of a deal. But that that is like somebody had to make that. Right, you think they could have made it with? Well, like you made said, it with spikes. Like you said earlier, the tail doesn't even connect, so I'm not sure. Yeah, well, it's just like it looks like it was made for something else, and then we just slapped it on here. I will say the head actually doesn't look that bad though, with the eyes. And it's usually like my biggest gripe with a lot of playmates is usually like the heads okay. are kind of fudged up or not that def defined. Granted, again, the body doesn't quite line up with the head. He pierces in your soul with those eyeballs. I also say his head's a little bit on the thinner side. A little bit more like 55 looking. But Yeah, actually it's got quite oh my God, it's got quite a few that. qualities because like even with the feints. I just noticed the holes in his feet. What the f How do you cheap out on plastic that bad? <laughs> Save money. That is an odd spot though cuz oh, actually oh, why is that? Playmates, if you're going to have exposed feet, make sure to cover it with some plastic. What is that? Okay, that... Oh. Camera down. Camera <laughs> down. <laughs> Hold up. We can fix that problem right meow. Seems like with all these unimportant reviews, we're always smacking this camera upside its head. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, got something stuck on my feet. What the heck is it? Torso doesn't look that bad. Why do you have to place a plant? Then you just throw it back on the floor? You're worse than the children. It's where it belongs. <laughs> Anyways, arms don't look that bad. It's actually got a nice 54 pose, I will say. With the, like, old school boxer kind of walk to it. Neck's kind of elongated. <laughs> they, took, uh, they took a page from NECA. Book. More money, less plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Like I said, like not not to fully knock knock Neko, like a lot of the ultimates, like pretty sweet come with a lot of accessories, but then it was just like aliens, like we gave up on that, but we're still gonna charge you. Um Detailing on the skin looks nice with the wrinkling. It's got the right wrinkling. You just gotta put a little Yeah, part. I would say like the sides aren't nearly as divine as they probably should be. Because even the front like the front actually doesn't look that bad. Compared to like Say the G Godzilla versus Kong playmates, but the sides are still like where you lose a lot of that definition. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna say this: this figure was definitely meant to be posed from front, not the back. All the bad stuff about it is from the back: the tail, the plastic, everything. Right? Because if you, yeah, it's like even if you have it angled a bit, looks fine. You turn it sideways, some stuff's kind of missing. You go to the back. Some stuff's definitely missing. I will say it's not that bad. I think for twenty bucks, mm. there's definitely been worse playmates. Like, all right, for instance, what Godzilla versus Kong figure outside of Mecha Godzilla would you say is better than this? Outside of Mecha Godzilla. Outside of the, the Mecha Godzilla. Overall. Okay, don't let me think too long here. <laughs> <laughs> Even just the Godzillas. But I do agree with people, though. This definitely needs to see the hammer. Oh, that was actually... Like, actually, in terms of Playmates, I still don't think this is that bad. Like, granted, it's got missing plastic on feet and well, like spines. Said, but then again, it's not like Final War is bad, you know? Oh. Or burning. Like, it's still... Shen. It's still... It's still, like... I know exactly what I'm looking at when I see this guy. It's 54 Godzilla. Maybe 55. I, I can see an argument for somebody saying it's 55 for me because the, the fanes are stupid long in comparison. Yeah, I didn't notice that. They are kind of uh, on the... Do they have black on them? Does it? I don't know. I think that's the one thing, too, I like is it's very grayscale, too, so it's got that black and white vibe. Yeah. Which I can get behind. And the pose isn't bad. Like, for again, for, like, kids to play with, I think this is fine. Collectible-wise, 
I think honestly, I think there's better options for sure. Honestly, like playmates. Like even just, just this is a better option. This is Bandai. He's they dime a dozen. I think most of the playmates is just like it's not a collectible. You Even know, though I have like almost all of them. Well, that's just you. <laughs> for reasons. <laughs> but anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. People have taken a vote on here and they say we're flamethrowing it, so we're burning it. I hope you can find another one to keep seeing. I think I saw like three more at Target. <laughs> <laughs> be good to go but anyways that's pretty much it for this video so help us defeat those guys by hitting the like button subscribe become ranger today we also got instagram patreon pinterest facebook guys like people the day with channel donate we really appreciate it oh yeah i forgot to mention articulation I probably should have it's a head oh my god the head moves yeah. head rotates arms feetsies well, I guess legs. Feetsies can go all the way around, too. God, I hope they would give me articulation at the feet. They're not going to give me plastic. And the tail can also rotate all the way around. So, not super playable. But, like I said, 20 bucks. It's, it's, it's passable at 20. I think all my biggest flaws with his figures are actually from behind. So, from the front like this, it doesn't look that bad. You can tell what it is. Like I said, just standing on a shelf, it like... It'll do its job. If you were trying to use this, like, please, for the love of God, never use this for stop motion. But <laughs> you try to do, like, a the filmy thingy with it, no. Or photography, no. Hey, you know But it'll we, fill a role. If we melt it, it'll turn to, pla like, gooey plastic, and you can use it for claymation. Well, it's 54. You have to, like, dissolve it, like, 54. I'm okay with blowing you it have to, like, get, like, We have to, like, 3D print an oxygen destroyer. And then put it in the tank with it. And then it's like... <laughs> yes. You know what we should do? We should put some, uh... Like little of those firecrackers in the holes in the feet and see if it can get it to lift off. <laughs> just kind of like Godzilla vs. Dora, where he's like... <laughs> flying across the screen. But anyways, help us defeat those guys by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, pictures, Facebook, guys like you for the video channel. Donate, we greatly appreciate it. Again, if you guys like to pick up some collectibles for yourself, link in the description for Entertainment Earth. Guys, help us support the channel, and also get yourself some Godzilla toys. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, bye.